mock-up of the abort rocket. Appears that there's a launch in one minute and nine seconds in perpetuity. The little one. Oh my goodness, it's so tall. None of it would have been possible without the tremendous team that made it happen here on the Space Coast. That has made possible the launch of every American vehicle that carried a crew into space since that first flight 50 years ago. Side of the VAB. So you're going to get a better look at the front of the building when we come back by it. Okay, right up here to the right, there are so. in the back room for the planes to go through for the solid rocket boosters, the big one over around the windows, all the way in Orlando. It's a very powerful rocket. Open on the right, that is the high bay that all the SLS rockets will be coming out of. That's mission control. They're in charge of the actual mission. All over the place. We're not going to pass them today, but uh, if they just go. Uh, okay. There's over 30,000 things, and that I can't tell if that's a little one over there coming up. Yeah, here are all the cars. These are all badged employees that work out here. And this is so a, right up here on this red trailer is a mock up of the Abort rocket. Located at the nose end of the Southern Fox rocket, guests entering behind you. Guests with special physical. Mankind is about to leave his planet behind, journey to another. This period, and once we do get the firing command, the various tanks within the three stages. It's a rocket. It's a little one. It's like the Scooby Doo mystery machine, but for astronauts. That is a Saturn V rocket. This is the rocket style that launched all the Apollo missions into space, so all our moon landings and things like that. This was the rocket. That's big. That's really big. And there's a lander. As a kid, I always giggled when I saw the shiny covering. I always thought it was tin foil. Like the moon golf cart, man. Moon buggy. Check it out. This rover is just a mock-up of what they 
used on the moon. Of course, we didn't bring the actual ones back. They're just left up there. That is the actual Apollo 14 capsule that splashed down in Kitty Hawk in 1971. Here's good. There's still dirt on the shoes, moon dirt. Oh, yeah. During Apollo 13, this was Jim Lovell's suit he actually wore. Why not? In space. He's late for a shuttle launch. <laughs> Run! He'll make it. And watch the shuttle. This is the actual. Atlantis Spaceship. This ship, shuttle, actually took pieces of the International Space Station. To space helped put it together. This is the underside of the Atlantis. The International Space Station. Size of a football. So that's Scott Kelly. If you can hear me over the children. You see him? They're debuting the Mars rover. Check it out. That's pretty intense. Looks like a tank. Exit through the gift. 